Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to share something special with you. This is a piece of code that I was working for on and off for a couple of months now. And this is near and dear to my heart because it was super useful to have a copy company function in my testing career. And also it is super useful in doing a lot of demonstrations, which I often do these days. So sit back, relax and take a look at what I came up with. So here I'm going to do a couple of preparational steps. First, I'm going to go to legal entities to create the new company. And basically it's a very fast process. You just type in the company ID that you want and select the country region, click OK. Then in the next step, you would go and create a ledger record. It's the part that I haven't completely figured out, but if you create it manually, it just takes 40 seconds for you to do so. So you change this to make sure that you are in the new company accounts that you created. Sometimes it switches it, sometimes it is not keeping up with me. Then uh, type in the values into the chart of accounts, fiscal calendar, um, signify the currency, signify the default rate types, click save, and that the account structures. It basically will tell the system which account numbers this can be in use in this company account. And I'm just going with a profit and loss, the balance sheet, and also we'll add the statistical accounts. Once you do that, we're going to do something very interesting. We're going to basically run uh, that procedure that I created through the URL. So once you save that record, come back to the address bar and we're going to add an interesting thing. Just, just in case, switch back to the USMF to do the source company. So here you'll need to paste uh, the phrase from the description. This is what you need. The menu item, the class runner, and the name of the class. Once you navigate to it, it's gonna open a dialog where you select the copy from company and you can pretty much select the one that you want. I mostly work with USMF, so that I'm most familiar with that one. And then you select the target company account where you're copying the data to and this is the one that we just created then you click OK and here I suggest to grab a cup of tea or coffee we started at around 11.54 a.m. and it's going to take for anywhere from 6 to 12 minutes basically there we copy about 20,000 tables and it took about five minutes. It's on a hot system, so it's a system that I already worked in for an hour, so it was pretty decent performance. Then we want to validate things. So you just go back to the home page, switch back to the target company account that we've just created. And we want to see that the transactions still exist. And that was the kind of the limitation of the approach that is typically suggested. Oh, just go do everything through data packages, which I'm not so interested in testing scenarios or the demo scenarios because I want transactions. I want to be able to continue transacting. I might have created wonderful sales orders, which by the way, are all copied there. So another one that uh, took a little bit of figuring out, and I'm pretty sure I haven't completely figured it out, is the ledger transactions. And ledger transactions, I like to verify them by just running the ledger transaction report back from my testing days. That was my favorite report with all the debits and credits. Here I type in the dates, and I'm pretty sure that standard demo data has these dates. And there's going to be a couple of pages of transactions as far as I remember. So here the report runs and we are still in USM3 
And here are all of the transactions. So I was super excited to see them there once I figured out how to get them there. There you could also click on the blue th stuff to actually go to the specific voucher. So that concludes the copy company function. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what works, what doesn't, and inform me of your suggestions. I sincerely hope that you like what you saw, and if you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing and press the bell to stay updated. Until next time, goodbye.